Is it too early to start talking about pumpkins? Well, not when they are made from scraps of fabric and they are filled with fabric scraps. They're ideal for Waste That Wednesday. So let's go and chat pumpkins. Hi there, I'm Christine the Gemini Stitcher and welcome to my YouTube channel on Waste Not Wednesday. If you're new to my channel, welcome and if you're new to Waste Not Wednesday, fantastic, great you've joined us and on a Wednesday my vlogs are all about using up your fabric scraps, saving money on patterns and fabrics so any offers that are out there I've seen I will let you know and just a bit of chat about what I'm doing to try and de-stash my huge fabric haul. So shall we get started? In my little intro I showed you a cute funky pumpkin and here it is. It's been made using some of the Halloween dog print fabrics from Flamingo Fabrics. And if you don't know already, I am an ambassador for Flamingo and got this fabric donated to me to make some pumpkins for them. So this is the first one. And you'll have spotted a bit of a tulip pink in there as well that sneaked in. I've made three all together and I got three out of two fat quarters. Well, I think it was a yard of fabric, half and half. So is that four fat quarters? I don't know. Depends what you're classing as a quarter, isn't it? I'll just grab the other two. So here's the second one. And I've done a cute felt popping pink leaf on this one. Still got some threads on it. And this one's been done alternate colours on the segments. And then the last one, hang on a sec, right over the other end of the table. How not to be organised. Has been done with the sec two tone with the segments done the other way. So that's my pump funky pumpkins, as I'm calling them. And, whoops, they are great scrap busters. You don't have to use all the same fabrics. You can mix and match. Each segment could be a different fabric. And they hardly take any fabric at all for each segment. So if you want to get rid of your some of your fabric scraps for Halloween gifts, these are a good idea, aren't they? And I thought you could either, that one's had the veins sewn on, the leaf, and then the other two have been left plain because I'm going to, I have a Cricut machine, and I'm going to put names on them. One for Lily, so that one's going to say Lily on the leaf, and this one is going to say Esme on the leaf. Not sure they'll last very long with my girls, but I thought it was quite a cute idea. If you want more information on how we met, how I've made these pumpkins, I will be popping the link for the pattern that I got from Etsy in the details below. And I am also planning on doing a bit of a sew along for them. So keep your eyes peeled for that one towards the end of the month. So what's next on Waste Not Wednesday? Every week I'm on the lookout for free patterns for you guys and for me. And this week, because this the month of September is Dress a Girl month, I thought that we would look at children's patterns. And in particular, I found some nice ones on the Hey June website. I'll put the details for the website again below. So the, they have three children's cute free patterns and they are 
Just let me grab my back notepad. They've got, and they've got a racer back dress, which is made in a jersey fabric. There's an image of it, all loving that one. And that is going to be so easy to make. They do a happy tank. There's an image of that one. Again, really cute. And the last one they have is a high low maxi skirt. And there's an image of that one. Now, the other two free children's patterns that obviously I've found are the Dresser Girl dress patterns. There are two of them this year, and they are both free from a lovely lady who has a YouTube channel called Thoughtful Creativity. There is obviously the one pattern on there, but if you watch the video to the end, there is a link at the end for the other pattern as well so i've been making these like mad because i'm making challenge myself to make 30 in 30 days but this is one of the first patterns if you've not seen my video about dress a girl i will pop the link to it below so that is a cute dress with big pockets and then the other free pattern that's been launched for the dresser girl campaign has got a t-shirt top look how funky that one is and then a woven skirt with again with pockets so i mean you can use these and make them and send them off for dresser the dresser girl campaign in september that would be amazing but they are free patterns so if you wanted to just get some free children's patterns then hey download them why not they're free now if you're one of my regular followers you will know that in the summer i sew outside in my sewing shack as i call it and then when the cold weather comes which is back again in lancashire today i come back inside and set up in the corner of my dressing room which is what i have done now part of the problem with that is that all my patterns are in drawers out in the sewing shack and there's no way I'm bringing them all back in. So I hatched a little plan. Now, a little caveat here, I'm not taking all the glory for this idea because I'm copying So Carol, who has put all her patterns details into Lever Arch Files. And that's what I'm doing. How cute are these pucker files with all the flowers on? Got these from Amazon. I will put the link where to them below if you want the same files. So basically what I'm doing, I'll just get it open. It's got cute matching dividers as well. I love matchy matchy. So, ooh, knock my head off. I'm working my way through this and as you can tell I've not got very far but I am doing it so taking or I'm printing off an image of every pattern that I've got and then this one's got a load of notes next to it so any alterations I've made and how much fabric I need if I've made the pattern is going to be written on there not the patterns just the images and then I'm also going to write on them which draw in the shack that pattern is in so that I can just nip out in the bad weather grab it and come back in so that's part of the reason for making this file up and the other reason is to try and stop me buying patterns I know I'm asking for a miracle but it will help because my plan is once I've filled this file up whenever I start browsing patterns and thinking oh what i tend to do is i will go on somewhere like the fold line think i need a dress pattern start looking at them and i screenshot images of the ones that i like and then i have a think about it and then i go back and i order more than i intended in the first place but what i'm going to do going forward i'm still going to do that and i'm still going to screenshot the images but then before i order them i'm going to look through this file and see if there's a dress in here that I can hack to be like the one that I was going to buy. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it will stop me buying as many patterns. So that's why my pattern library 
idea has come on waste not wednesday because in the long term hopefully it will stop me buying as many patterns fingers crossed so speaking of patterns i've talked about the free patterns that are available this week and there is also a huge simplicity pattern sale on that started they're selling their patterns half price until i think it's the 17th of september or around about that date so it's not long what are we on now we're on the 12th so we've got another five days and when this sale comes out the popular patterns go like that don't they so i went on minerva yesterday for two reasons one was the patterns and i'm going to talk you through the patterns that i've bought i've got my ipad with my minerva order on so if i keep looking down i apologize it's just that i'm checking i don't miss anything so shall we run through the simplicity patterns that i've backed at six pound fifty each Bargain. Now, most of these are Mimi G ones, which I've been intrigued about for a while, but not actually tried. So it's going to be great to try some of the Mimi G designs. And the first one is this. Love this one. Those wide leg trousers with the buttons down are a genius idea. It just adds another dimension to them, doesn't it? And I believe that you can do leave the buttons off and do them with the slits at the front. Never seen wide leg trousers with kick slits in them, as I want to call them. So I'll be intrigued to see how they turn out. And I'll love the top as well with the little bit of colour blocking near the neck and the high neck. That's going to be a great layering garment for the autumn. So chuffed to bits that i've got that particular pattern the next bargain pattern is this coat pattern i'm interested in making the waterfall front style one in a two-tone fabric I haven't got it in my stash so it'll have to wait until i can actually buy fabric again i like that and i like the longer length one as well so it'll be interesting to see whether i actually manage to use that pattern i'm hoping i will as I've got plans for it for this winter. So that's pattern number two. Pattern number three for £6.50 is this top. Now, I'm fessing up here. I recently watched the reveal of the one fabric two ways that the Carpe Diem stitcher did with What Beck Sews. And Carpe Diem stitcher did this top in a Japanese viscose twill, I think it was. And I'll pop an image of it up here, actually. I'm sure she won't mind. How lovely does that look? So it set my brain going. So when Simplicity had the sale, I grabbed it. So that's why I bought that particular pattern. Don't know what I'm making with it yet, but I'm sure something will pop in my head i do like that fabric though so it may well be that i copy it and then the last bargain pattern that i got only four patterns that's quite restrained for me was another mimi g1 because i love that quilted jacket style so that's why i bought it but the brucey bonus is that that pattern also has jeans in it as well and you can't have enough jeans patterns can you so they were my four simplicity bargain buys from Minerva. And while I was on there, I'd also got another email from them telling me that they had 40% off all Robert Kaufman fabrics. 40% off. So you need to use the code Kaufman40. I'll put it down there. And you get 40% off. Well, you do if you're a Minerva Club member. If you're not a member, you get 30% off, which is still a chunk off the cost of these quite expensive fabrics. So I know I'm on a fabric ban, 
but checks don't count according to sequin girl so i bought some their brushed cottons are absolutely to die for so i've only bought a few and these are the ones that i've got to make some pj bottoms loungewear or shackets i'll decide when they arrive shall we have a look at the ones that i bought been really good and i've only ordered two of them well i ordered three and then they've messaged me this morning to say that the third one they'd only got in three different pieces and it just wouldn't work so i cancelled that they are very good like that at minerva so i've cancelled that one off gutted but i have got two so the first one is their mammoth flannel brushed cotton in a berry colour and that's a stock image oh, definitely shacket fabric now absolutely and then the other one that I snaffled was their cot brushed cotton flannel and the fabric is called surf look at that how to brighten up your winter or what so I can't wait for those two to come now their fabrics can range up to 20 pound a meter i think they have them on offer at 17 pounds 98 a meter but by the time i take my 40 percent off they cost me i think just over 11 pound a meter for robert kaufman quality brush cotton Bargain. so bob over to minerva have a look what simplicity patterns they've got left because they are going fast and have a look at what robert kaufman they've got left as well and get yourself some discounts so that's it for waste not wednesday this week it is a little bit shorter i think than the other two have been but i've got i've made counted this morning i've made 15 dresses i've got 15 to go so i need to get cracking on those so please forgive me if it's a short video this week i will see you next week when hopefully i'll have finished all of these and we'll have a bumper waste not wednesday happy sewing and take care bye for now